You, we can, you cannot escape knowledge. Science is knowledge. And I started to speak and in walked Feynman. This was the greatest surprise of my life to see him in the audience. And I started by saying, take an elementary particle and give it a quantum field. And his very first question was, what is an elementary particle? And I had a great difficulty in answering that question. He said he wanted to know whether a man could have a field associated with him, quantum field associated with him. Was a man elementary object or not? And uh, in the end, I had to silence him by simply saying, Fine, if you know the answers to the questions you are asking, why don't you come and give the seminar? I have some incredibly fond memories of Abdus Salam, who I interacted with very strongly, um, starting in 1984 when, when string theory suddenly became very popular. In the very beginning when I came, uh, Salam was here and Salam was very interested in higher symmetries of relativistic equations. Then it was very interesting. He was one of the very few of, of the older generation who were willing to spend time learning the nitty-gritty of the subject. This was a, this was a very technically complicated subject. In 1964, Pakistani physicist Abdus Salam opened a door of opportunity for scientists from the developing world, the International Center for Theoretical Physics in Trieste, Italy. Today, ICP is a world-class research institute encompassing a wide range of physics and mathematics with a special focus on building scientific capacity in developing countries. And finally tonight, last week most of the world cheered the discovery of the so-called God particle, but in Pakistan the silence was deafening. Imagine a world where a merchant of death is rewarded while a scientific visionary is disowned and forgotten. Abdus Salam, Pakistan's only Nobel laureate, the first Muslim to win the physics prize, helped lay the groundwork that led to the Higgs boson breakthrough. And yet in Pakistani schools, his name has been erased from the textbooks. That's because Abdus Salam, who died in 1996, was a member of the Ahmadi sect, considered heretics by the Sunni majority, and barred by an act of parliament from even calling themselves Muslims. In sharp contrast, another Pakistani physicist, the infamous A.Q. Khan, a Sunni, is lionized as the father of his country's atomic bomb, even though he's confessed to spreading the technology to some of the world's most dangerous regimes, including Iran, North Korea, and Libya. Abdus Salam is officially forgotten in his own country, but his life's work lives on, a quantum leap towards understanding our universe. That's it for tonight's program. Meantime, our inbox is always open. Amanpour at CNN.com. Thanks for watching and goodbye from New York.